Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move Marissa to the chair. And this is our new teaching operatory at Keating Dental Arts. And I invite you to go to their website at www.keatingdentalarts.com. We have some great courses. We have live patient courses, over the shoulder courses, as well as just if you had the opportunity to see the lab. It's a beautiful lab. They're doing some unbelievable work. Their CAD CAM is really second to none, in my opinion, of any of the dental labs. And so we invite you to Keating Dental Arts as well as the website. But let's go ahead and move on. You know, a, a lot of photographers, dental photographers, like the patient to be sitting up. The problem with this is this camera's heavy. This camera wants to do this. So if I was to take a picture straight on with Marissa and it wants to do this, typically, and we see this all the time, in fact, next time you look at a dental journal, look at some of the pictures, the photographer drops the heel of the camera or the body down so that it's more stable and we have a picture that is shooting up at the arch instead of directly at the arch. So I prefer to actually have my patients laying down. I think it gives me an opportunity to have more control of my body, my arms, and the camera itself. So we're going to lay her all the way down. Are you okay? Okay. So in this particular camera, we're going to use the ring flash. Again, we'll go over settings in the other video. We're going to shoot at a shutter speed of 60, and we're going to shoot it at a f-stop of 32. 32 will give us our greatest depth of field. So we're going to take a full smile. We're going to take a frontal view and a right and left. On our lens, we're going to shoot the frontal smile at a 1 to 2. A one to two. So we're going to put the lens at two. Now this is assuming that we have a full size digital sensor. Not all cameras do. Some digital cameras, in fact most of them, have a two third size sensor. Which means that when you're shooting a one to two, you need to, ch you need to set the lens at a three. So this one is a full size sensor. This is a Canon 6D. So we're going to set it at two, which means we're going to get a magnification of one half the size of the image, one to two. Okay, by having Marissa in a horizontal position, I can be above her and this camera wants to go straight down. So I'm not moving my arms or body position to try to compensate for the weight of the camera. Turn toward me, Marissa. Again, this is a one to two. We do not focus. We're going to move the camera in and out so that again we have the same magnified image in the pre and the post. So we're going to move in and out. We're going to have our patient big smile, big smile, tongue back. Great. All right, now we're going to take a left side full smile. So instead of me climbing the other side, I still have it one to two. Turn to your right. Big smile, big smile. Great. Turn to your left. Now we'll take a left side, not quite that far. Yeah, I, I want to be comfortable so I can be stable. Big smile, big smile. Perfect. Okay. Another picture I like to capture that not all dental photographers do is what I call a one-to-one -one close up. And if you go to Vogue or InStyle magazines or even People magazines, you look at lipstick ads. And they have those big beautiful lips, very close up of the teeth. And I think it's a very sexy look, especially someone like Marissa who has these beautiful lips and this beautiful smile. And it's great for, again, website or even Facebook or some of your print ads. So I'm going to set the camera now to a one, which is a one-to-one. -one. So go ahead and turn toward me. This is going to be a closer up view. Big smile. Now if she has some saliva bubbles, just air water strings, you could have your assistant do this. A little bit of air, don't let it startle you. Big smile. Big smile. Perfect. And as you can see, how, how nice of a photo this is. Next, we're going to take a retracted view. I like plastic cheek retractors versus the metal. I think you have a little bit more exposure of all the teeth. You don't get that lip that comes down in the center. These are available from, again, numerous manufacturers as well as dental supply companies. Oregon Norman camera. So what I like to do is I like to put them in but have the patient hold them. I think if they hold them, they'll pull further than I will. 
So Marissa, I'm going to put these in, then I'll have you hold them. Okay, open real big for me. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, close down a little bit. And Good, perfect. I'm going to blow some air, so don't let it startle you. Again, blowing air and getting rid of those saliva bubbles or any saliva or anything between the teeth just give it a, a, gives it a more professional image and a more professional look so we're not photoshopping it out later. We're now going to take a retracted and this is going to be at a 1 to 2. So I'm going to go ahead and set this at 2. All right, so turn toward me a little bit. And my goal with this, I want her to close down as much as she can but still have a little bit of opening so I can see the inside of the ledge. So turn toward me a little bit. Tongue back. Perfect. And I'm still shooting it at a shutter speed of 60 and an f-stop of 32. I could shoot it at an f-stop at 13 or 2 or 5. The problem is it cuts down the depth of the field. And what I want is an image where her lips or certainly her incisal the ledge is in focus as well as even her second molars. All right, now we're going to take a left lateral view retracted. Turn toward me a little bit. What I want you to do, Marissa, turn toward me a little bit more. I want you to relax this side. Pull this side back as far as you can against your cheek. Blow air again. Get rid of the bubbles. <coughs> Close down a little bit. Perfect. Get comfortable. Big smile. Nice. Perfect. All right, let's take the left side. Turn to your left. Not quite that far. Relax this side, pull this side back as far as you can. None of my settings have changed except for the magnification or the ratio. Close down just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. 